friends, greetings to you from Scotland. This year, 2021, marks the 75th anniversary of the founding of the United Bible Societies. As you know, Bible Society work and ministry has been going on for over two centuries. During that time, the work of Bible translation, printing and distribution was growing into ever more countries and territories and more and more Bible societies were being born. God has been gracious to us. Before the Second World War started, discussions were already taking place to develop a more coordinated and collaborative approach to Bible society ministry. It was recognised that the work would be more effective with cooperation. Very soon after the end of the war, these ideas materialised into the formation of the UBS. A 75th anniversary gives us an opportunity to look back and remember all that God has done in each of our Bible societies as well as across our fellowship. It's a good time to ponder the principles that motivated those who worked for partnership and collaboration. Those who recognised that coming together was going to be for the good of God's kingdom. Surely we salute those who led the way in this regard. The richness of our 75 years as the UBS has not just been down to the leaders who have gone before us. Think of all those who have made our mission and ministry possible. We thank God for those who have faithfully prayed for every aspect of our work. We praise God that he moved many around the world to give sacrificially to support the work financially. Without these people, we would not be where we are today. Then there are the frontline workers, those in each Bible society and those serving on the global mission team in all its previous expressions, from translators to typists, from secretaries to scholars, from printers to preachers. So many servants of God have aided the growth of our work. We rightly call them heroes of the Bible cause. But there is one overall hero in the story of UBS and it is God himself. One of the most inspiring accounts from the start of UBS is in the chairman's foreword to the minutes of one particular meeting. It reads, only those who were present at the adoption of these resolutions know under what inspiration they arose and in what spirit they became the bond of our unity and enterprise. It is for that reason that I would preface their reading with this testimony to the character of the conference. People spoke of the power of the Bible in their own lives and of the desperate hunger for the book in their own and neighbouring lands. It was daily made clear that God was calling the Bible societies to a development of his work which could only be realised through our active cooperation in prayer, thought, study and effort. Friends, as we look ahead to the work the Lord is calling us to in our generation, may we approach it with that same dedication to the power of the Bible in our own lives, with that same commitment to pray and seek God together so that he receives the glory as he builds his kingdom. May the Lord bless us.